when all the kids were abused by the Penn State coach. And so it was very interesting to watch the details. My son actually went to Penn State at that time. So I was interested in finding out those details. But also came up for me that night um, a big purge because I realized that um, that the same time, I, the same years that I would have been in my marriage with my first husband, who was very abusive for four years, uh, would have been the same time that um, would have been if I was being abused during those four years, so would my twin be. So that brought up a big purge, not for myself, but for my feeling for my, for my Divine Masculine. So I also was getting uh, two elephants. I had it had come up in my sand art. I saw two elephants together, and then when I went, to, when I did my meditation to sleep that night, I literally first thing I saw as soon as I closed my eyes was two ele two loving elephants, like one bigger than the other. Um, and that was early mornings of the twenty fourth, like one eleven in the morning actually. Um, on the twenty fourth, I was getting breakups, and that the Christ light lights up the dark through stubbornness. So we're in Taurus right now. So stubbornness is coming up to release. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. The darkness in stubbornness, okay? So also on the 24th, um, confession comes up, crimes against the divine masculine. So in reference to that uh, was the queen of wands. So before the, where the divine masculine was saying, oh my God, what have I done? Realizing how they might've hurt the divine feminine now it's turning around and now the divine masculine is saying oh my god what have i done because crimes of passion against the divine masculine are coming up for the divine feminine and this is the coding for the queen of wands which was um a big epiphany for me because this is what i was looking for in regards to what does the queen of wands mean why does she keep coming up for me so the queen, what I got literally was queen, the queen of wands wears a hat of light but holds crimes of passion to cover her self-hatred. And then I got bullseye. That impatience also equals self-hatred. And a few shades of gray came up. Forgive and start again. Um, recognize. So you need to uh, work on wounds that might come up even in your own childhood of things you might have done to other divine masculines that represent your divine masculine. It doesn't have to be against your divine masculine. Any divine masculine that you have abused in any kind of way needs to come up for clearing, okay? Whether it was just manipulation or abuse, no matter what it is, it just needs to come up. Um, recognize that karmics are humans who have been abused as children, so see them. That was a specific re request that I received through a channeling from my friend who, where my Divine Masculine's spouse came in and was thanking us for recognizing her as having been abused as well, okay? So, I also got um, You Complete Me and it wasn't in reference necessarily to the Divine Masculine, it has to do with um, people around you and other twin flame friends of yours um, remember to get along and help each other get along because we all complete each other we're all parts of the same puzzle don't forget that um, I got a star is born and I got to give them an offer they can't refuse be the godfather of love if necessary um, yeah, that was the 24th. So then on the 25th, that morning, it was funny, I, I decided to just put in the computer who was Evelyn. And <laughs> the first thing that came up on the search engine was called Evelyn Evelyn, and it was a musical duo of conjoined twins, Eva and Lynn. <laughs> it was in 2007. It was three songs on a seven inch vinyl. The label was called 11, and then it said eight foot. I don't know why, but the name of the label was 11. The album that came out was called Elephant Elephant, and I'd just seen two elephants, and it was released in limited edition, 1111, okay? 
So 1,111 were released. And the record, comp the record company was called Eleven Records. And it was sold out, by the way. And then there's a picture of two elephants. And again, 40 Days and 40 Nights came up again. That truth always prevails. And then oh, you're, you're to open your hearts wide and leave a popcorn trail. So whenever you learn how to open or crack your heart open wider, to expand it more, to leave a trail for the others behind you who are who haven't who awakened after you to understand what trail to follow and how to pick up clues on their divine masculine uh, someone is spying there may be investigators hired or even just people investigating um, also just to remember to keep integrating, do the dance. The dance is constant back and forth between your twin. This is why you're not in union. You're learning to do the dance before you come into union. The slow dance, okay? Half truths are boiling to the surface to this full moon. It's a big full moon for something. Driving at home came up. And then also a, a funny one came up, cutting off the penis despite your face. Just so don't do that. <laughs> um, you know, don't cut off because I guess it's coming up because of a, a you know, awful relationships with prior women and then saying, you know, I'm never, I'm never falling for a woman again, you know, that kind of energy. Um, and then I got Rise Up, the song Rise Up. Also was, was very interesting for me personally, that I thought you might also find interesting is that um, I looked up, I did a free birth chart real quick. I've had my birth chart done a million times, but there was something I forgot, I wasn't sure about, and I wanted to confirm really quickly. So I looked up the free birth chart. And my whole life, and I'm 56 years old, so it's been a long time, um, I've done my chart multiple times by hand, by computer, whatever it was. And my rising sign was always Cancer. Although it was close to Gemini, it was always Cancer. And I even asked a psychic once and she confirmed it was Cancer. And she was really good. I mean, she named the names of everyone I had seen that year. And when I pulled up two free charts yesterday, everything was where it should be, except for my rising sign both times was Gemini, which it had never been before in all of my years. So I don't know if this was a timeline switch, but it may have been. Um, open hearts, okay, we got that one. Don't forget to keep your heart open. Master of the house came up. Master of the house is a queen, a much older queen, maybe a grandparent. Uh, and to remember that, uh, so there may be interference with, uh, with parents or grandparents, that kind of thing. Um, and to remember that God came up as large and in charge, okay? We need to all keep our egos in check and remember that it's all about God running the show, not us. You know, follow your guidance and stay in love and don't worry about if you know if you know um, your ego is coming up in a certain situation. It's there for you to clear. It's fine. We're human. We have egos. It's not going to completely go away. But to recognize it, okay. Um, and then again, the romance down by the riverside came up again. Fires burn deep, and humiliation is coming up for the Divine Masculine. Um, and again, I said investigators may be out, and also job scouts. And also, kids, it's coming up that kids will be supporting each other, starting to support each other. It's happening now. So today is the 26th. It's the, the 26th is the Page of Wands. And the day adds up to 41, which is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so a while back I had, I had gotten uh, the Divine Masculine as the Page of Wands and the Divine Feminine as the Page of Cups. And here's the Divine Masculine with the Ace of Cups. So it's a precursor to the, the two pages coming together. The 41 is a 5, the Ace of Cups. Um, so that 5 energy is all about change and freedom and and sex and excitement, all those kind of things, romance. It's the one, which is the masculine driven energy on the inside with the four on the outside, which is of stability and responsibility. And there's a fly on, on my iPad sitting here talking. He's listening, <laughs> he's cleaning himself. Um, fly on the wall. Someone may be listening to you, so be careful. So uh, I was talking about 41. 
and he's still sitting there listening to me. <laughs> he's looking right at me. Uh, so the one of the masculine energy on the inside, very driven and sure of themselves, and that it's a selfish oriented energy. And on the outside being very stable and secure um, for comes off as a very uh, responsible person, someone you can count on. And it, but this together, this 41 comes out as the, a five about excitement and freedom. So it's being this driven and stable person and ena enables you to have the Ace of Cups, which is, is true love. So that's that energy today. And then the Page of Wands is an excitable boy, which came up before. Um, it's all about feeling young again and driven and inspired. And the fly is still sitting there on my iPad cleaning himself. Uh, and today is trash day. And for some reason I needed to write that down. It is trash day. So maybe some things you need to get rid of, whether it's inside you or outside you in your home. Um, to purge more stuff. Death of Ego I'm coming up, is coming up for... A, this process is going on now through July 13th, which is the partial solar eclipse. And also Lionsgate 8-8 is coming up again as an important date um, for unions. Uh, the, the line, I'm strong, I'm invincible, I am woman, came up today. To don't give up. Don't give up. So important not to give up. Never give up on love. You know, just keep trying again. Um, also, a child with light may come come out like a child with gifts uh, might come out in the open the divine mass is working very hard also for heroes gamos okay so uh, the energy it's for me the energy here is amazing I just finished a huge project my my you know digging up my kitchen floor is very profound and representative of us deeping of digging very deep inside of us to get down to our very deep core wounds and our root chakra issues and our sacral chakra issues um, and so in dealing with some of the guys who are doing the work who I know so well um, so I was able to have some good conversations with them and also very very healing conversations for both of them well, actually there's four of them all together but two of them were mostly there um, but yeah, it was time for me also to help them with some of with their issues. Um, so I was happy to, happy to be able to do that. Um, but now the floor is back together and I've cleared a lot. You know, a lot of stuff has come up in the meantime with other Twin Flame friends and uh, just with, within myself and clearing. And like, like I told you, I had a big purge the other night, uh, which was really good because right before that I had I just said that there's going to be a whole bunch of, uh, of a tidal wave of emotions coming up for clearing. So I guess that was mine. I'm going to pull a couple cards for you guys. So this is, I'm using the, uh, the Universal Golden Tarot. And this is for, this is just general energies for all the twins, okay? All the organic true twins. What are the energies? What are the energies? Okay. So I have the six of wands. Oh, oh I got my card wet. I didn't realize that. And the temperance card. The ten of cups. The four of cups. And I'll show you those. If I move them back, you can see them. And the the hangman but awake and one more is the knight of wands and lastly the queen of pentacles okay in the bottom of the deck over here is the chariot okay and if you're interested under the chariot is the king of pentacles so I'll leave him peeking out a little bit. Let's see a little better. OK. 
ਹੈ